This season's European Nations Cup reached its conclusion at the weekend and in Santiago de Compostela, Spain were looking for their first win of the tournament against Portugal. The ENC is also acting as a qualifier for Rugby World Cup 2015, and while Georgia and Romania are looking well set to secure the top two spots, the process is only at the halfway stage. In a league of ten matches, anything can change any day. And it's happened before that some of the big teams can't sustain their victories throughout the whole tournament, and next year will be just as interesting as, as this year. We could have won three games, we didn't, but uh, still I believe that we, uh, we are alive and well. And uh, right till the last day of the tournament in 2014, we are going to be in with a chance to go to the World Cup. With wins over Georgia and Romania, Spain were runners-up in last year's competition, but so far this season they've struggled to repeat that form. And they went into the game against Portugal, lying bottom of the standings. Last year, Spain became one of three teams to achieve core status in the Sevens World Series, and a member of their Sevens squad returning to play in the ENC was their scrum half and vice-captain, Pablo Fehu. I think that the Sevens help, help us a lot in, in the 15s in, in many ways. Uh, I think that the team grew up uh, a lot in the, in the last year because we made a, a full-time full professional squad. We have 12 players and I think that the, the experience that we get in each, in each tournament of the IRP Sevens is it's really important for, for playing 15s. The Seven Series has provided Spain with regular international opposition. Such opportunities were less frequent for the 15 side, but last year they took part in a triangular competition in Namibia. Fue en Namibia. It was on that Namibia tour when I won my first cap and I was made captain. I think I'm the first player to be captain on his Spanish debut. It was a great honour for me and a big vote of confidence by our coach. I hope I repaid some of that trust with a good performance. I'm a man of few words who tries to lead by example. The main goal of our new management team is to build a solid structure that's able to boost the growth of our men's and women's game in both sevens and fifteens. We've detected a gap in the latter, between the under-19 side and the senior teams. We have to create a structure that fills that gap with an A-team selection that provides experience and quality game time to those players who will take over from the current senior players in the future. A draw wasn't what either side wanted, but that's how it ended. Continuous rain made for difficult playing conditions, and the only points in an untidy first half were two Spanish penalties. Portugal responded with three of their own, and as the game moved into stoppage time, they led by three. But a late penalty gave Corey Simpson the chance to tie the scores. 9 all the result. Russia secured their third win of the season when they beat Belgium in a thrilling contest in Sochi. Yet to win a game since being promoted, Belgium have nevertheless been encouragingly competitive. And midway through the first half, they led through this try from prop Alan Mirielakis. But Russia, with their forwards dominant, went in at the break holding a slender four-point lead. And by midway through the second half, they had extended it to 16. But yet again, Belgium proved their resilience and after 80 minutes, they had fought back to within a converted try of Russia. But hopes of a dramatic finale were dashed deep into stoppage time when the Russians went over for the 11th try of an entertaining match. Georgia's 9-all draw against Romania was enough for them to be crowned European champions by virtue of a superior points difference. Russia's win has moved them clear of the bottom three, who next season will be engaged in a relegation battle when the ENC resumes.